Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people in metal shaping and we listen to what people want to see on YouTube, so what, what kind of stuff they want to see and it seems like people would like to know more about different profiles in the bead roller, what you can do with different dies. So on this video with tips and tricks we're going to do different combinations of dies, about five, six different of them. And then we're making another video with more, more uh, different dies too. So you can see a little bit what, what you can do with it. And, and I recommend you to think outside the box. Don't think as uh, two dies as a pair. Think about what you can do, run a test piece and see what profile is going to give you. It really helps if you have your machine so you can adjust this in and out one and a half inch at least, okay? The second generation bead roller, we have two inches adjustable in and out. But if you're making your own bead roller or if you can modify your bead roller that you have so you can adjust the shafts in and out more, that will help you a lot to have thousands and thousands of new combinations. So here is, this was a mistake from my students long time ago, and I think we have it on, on the video before. But the, the dies are a little offset, so they are not on top of each other. So when I run that, you can see that it makes a little step. And that will be part of the flames. So I can do flames like this. And I stop there, turn one, two, and turn it around and turn this down again two times, two turns. And then I can run this and I can make the flames this way. So there you have the flames. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust this over to the other side. To, so I have a little more gap between. And what I do here, I run turn this down maybe a half turn more like this and then I turn it and then go straight turn it like this again okay so now you see that we have an angle but it's, it's much bigger than this it's the same dice as before so now I turn the sheets around like this and then what I'm going to do here I'm going to run straight part like that So here you have one down on this side and one down on this side and here I have a patch panel for a floor for a car. Of course you can adjust the, the dies here many, many different uh, measure in and out and up and down so you can have many different profiles just with those two flame dies. They are very useful and I think that's the dies that I'm using most of all. So uh, that's one combination and then I'm going to change the dice to something different and I can show you what profiles that's going to give us. So uh, here I sh have changed one die, I still have the flame dice on the bead roller on the top, but I changed to a round profile female die on the bottom. So let's run this test piece here again and see what that's going to give us. <clears throat> I think I set that pretty much in the center there. So there you can see what profiles that give you. It's a V profile, okay? I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to adjust this one so it's offset. So there you can see that those two, one is a V, that one is a V2, but it's offset, so it's sharper edge on the angle on this side and less angle on that side. So you can just play with this and have thousands and thousands of different profiles. So let me go up just a little bit like that. See if I can do this. So 
So here what I did is, now you can see the, the shape of this one. And I could have started in the middle of the panel too and crank this down and I can go in, in a circle. So maybe I should do a sample with that as well. But you see then, then it's, it's sharper angle on the inside and less to the outsider. And who knows what, what it can be for. And I can, if I want, I can draw a line so I can follow a line first. And I can slow down the speed too on the speed control here so I can follow that. And if I don't hold my hands here, it will go straight. And then I can turn it. And then I go straight. And I turn it. You need to be a little careful so you can line those two up. So there you see how I made that piece there now. The sharper angle inside and a little less on the outside. It gives little distortion on the panel because the bead takes material, but it, it's not too bad. It, it, it's actually, this one is not bad at all. Um, if I had pre-stretched this area in the English wheel, one time over this area before I put the bead on, it will be uh, no, no oil can at all. So what I would like to mention here that is very important that the deeper down you go with the bead here, the more material the bead takes from the sides and it's actually give you more distortion on the panels. So it depends on what the panel looks like some, sometimes you need to pre-stretch the area where the bead goes. It depends on how it looks like. It's, it's different from different profiles of the dies and different depth, how deep the profile is. So that, that's something very important for you to remember. Let's go to the next die and another combination so you can see what that looks like. So here is the next profile that I'm going to show you. This is endless of combinations, so you must remember that we are just touching the, the iceberg. <laughs> um, here I still have the same on the top, but I have a round profile on the bottom. And I put this one on the side there. What I also want to show you is that, depends on the panel, you can work on this side or you can work on this side. It depends on... The, the, if the sheet metal stops here, so the, the metal is longer in here, but you still want to do the other part of the bead. So you, but if you move this shaft over to this side, you can have the sheet over to that wall over there. So that, that helps you a lot. And here you can actually set this. You see how it moves down there now? So I can set it for an example there, you know. So there is the profile, so it's sharp in that corner, but the radius of the rest. So it depends on what profile you're going to make. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to run this one. Like that. And you can draw a line with a Sharpie pen. And you can follow that line if you want. Sometimes I can actually make another one in the center there if I want that too. But you see that we got a little distortion here because it's an inner curve and inner curve. And that gives you a distortion on the panel. So you need to be a little aware of, of that one. If it's not too much, you can, you can take it to the sandbag and you can hammer a little on the bead. Or do it with your fingers like this and just bend it a little bit and it, it's actually coming back to a little more flat. But it will not be 100% flat. But on the floor, on a car, it's never 100% flat anyway. It has a little curve to it because it's a piece that they stamped. So let's uh, change this die to something else and we go from there. 
So as I said before, think outside the box. Don't, don't think with, with limitations. So we still have the top die the same, the flame, one of the flame dies, but I changed to the one of the 33, 34 dies. And those dies, it's a pair that you don't thinking that you can use together at all because you're thinking male and female of, of the bottom die there. But I can use this anyway. So I give you a little sample here. So you see here, here is a V, a sharp angle here, and then a light, light, little, little angle on that there. So it's similar to this one, but it's just bigger now. But if I adjust this one little bit in the shaft there, not to the center yet, and then I go down a little deeper. So you see the difference between those and those two. But if you, you, you can micro, adjust this one and you can you can have many profiles between those two so it, it's it's endless what with combinations and then if i want i can set this one in the center and if i can't adjust the machine enough to be in the center but i'm pretty sure uh, it is close to the center now i can flip the the top die around so it will be like um, See where there it is. So it will be like that. I flip the bottom, uh, the top die around like this, and then it, it moves this further in, and then I can set that in the center there. That works as well. So now when I run this, it will be a V shape, pretty much in the center. It's a little, little offset. So there is a more like a V, symmetrical V shape. So that's the, the, the combination for this video there. And if you want more information, you can go to www.lazymetalshaping.com. Thank you for watching.